this month, I'd prayed for about six people in our ministry that are going into your ministries. Amen. Amen. One of them, about 20 something years in the system. Pray for them and give them material that will help them. Amen. Amen. That will read this thing as you're going. <laughs> Praise God. There was a day here we separated about 68 pastors on our WSA platform who have their ministries in Lagos. Most of them. It's a huge field. Can you tell anybody that are separating tonight now in this country to the same kind of ministry that may not know? Praise God. It's a huge thing. It's a huge thing. So don't bother about those who are saying whatever they are saying. This is one liberal place where you have access to following God's agenda for your life. My mission is to see everybody fulfill God's agenda for his life. Amen. And you will. Amen. I can't give you vision. I didn't give him vision. No. But I can cancel you and not to run with your vision without accident. Amen. How to run with you without accident. Lift up your two hands, everyone. Let the help I've received from your word tonight stay with me. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. And blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name. Now, as hand is laid on you, I pray to be for unusual grace, yes, for sustainable connectivity. Amen. That, keep you, that will keep you going without sweat. Amen. I pray that impact will be your goal, Amen. not good preaching, Amen. but great impact. Amen. And I pray that your life will interpret your message. Amen. I pray that your life will interpret your message. Amen. I pray that your life will interpret your message. Amen. In the name of Jesus. 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 Amen. As you step into this new phase of your assignment, may you be clothed with humility. Amen. Amen. May you be clothed with humility. Amen. Look up here. I've never begged. Yet I've never lacked. I've never borrowed. Yet I've never lacked. I've never taken advantage of anyone for what he has. Someone is an offering in a church years ago in Kaduna. And I called the people that he was raising offering from. I said, I freed them from it. <laughs> he wasn't raising offering for, them, for himself. He was raising it for us. I said, I free you from it. Told him, I know you. I'm your pastor. This man doesn't know you. <laughs> he doesn't know you. So I free you from it. Forget about the pledge. It's not. Go and relax. And I saw a glow on their faces. In the precious name of Jesus, Amen. you'll never be seen as a burden. Amen. Amen. All through our fellowship days, I never knew what the offering was. It's not important. The source is higher than the offering. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, you will not lose touch with the source. Amen. Amen. 
grace to walk in the covenant that keeps you connected to the source yes. of Amen. eternal supplies. Yes. Receive it now. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. I decree that by this anointing, every trap of the wicked Amen. on your path be destroyed. Amen. And Joshua was full of spirit of wisdom because Moses had this on him. Yes. And people hearkened unto him. Yes. Now be filled with the spirit of wisdom. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We have drawn virtue from various sources. Either to may the honor required to keep those virtues flowing. The grace to stay and offer such honor remain yours for life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So anointed right now. Fresh grace Amen. to fulfill God's agenda for your life. Amen. Fresh grace Amen. to fulfill God's agenda for your life. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Give the Lord a big hand of praise, everyone. Amen. Amen. Now be blessed. Amen. For witnessing the occasion, I decree fresh grace for sustainable connectivity Amen. for you. Amen. May you not be trapped by evil thoughts, Amen. evil speaking, Amen. evil actions. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May there be continuous proof of the genuineness of your connectivity. Amen. Not in words only, yes. but in reality. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. One more time, let's give God praise for this impartation and for the blessing. Give him glory. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. We proceed in a special praise session. Let's welcome the praise team. Give God praise.
further in this special service, let's welcome Pastor Paul Eneche for a word. Give God mighty praise. Hallelujah. I want to appreciate God for his goodness and mercies and appreciate our Father in the Lord for this great occasion. The calling of a man into ministry is a very, very sensitive thing. And there are four things that I think is very, very important. The Bible says in First Thessalonians chapter 5 and in verse 24, it says, faithful is he that calleth, who also will do it. And Colossians chapter 4 verse 17 says, and say unto Archippus, take heed to the ministry which you have received of the Lord to fulfill it. The first thing is accessing the call, being sure that God is the one who called. No one calls himself. Accessing the call. Number two is understanding the call. Because it's important to exactly understand what God has called you to do. What am I to do? The third thing is to lay hold on his faithfulness. Faithful is he who, do, who does it. It's not the talent of a man like our father has said. It's not the ability of a man. It's not the expertise of a man, but the faithfulness of the one who called. And the fourth thing and the final is to fulfill that ministry, to fulfill that assignment. It is one thing to have a call. There are those who have been called and never fulfill anything till they died. In fulfilling that assignment, our father has just told us many things to do. The maintenance of that connectivity and especially in this generation, to be very, very, very careful of the wrong association. There are many who started well, we can hear nothing about them today because of the wrong association. I believe that the Lord will help you on this journey in the precious name of Jesus. Please be careful with association. There are many out there like Daddy just said, who are authorities. They speak of things they know nothing about. You can't trace their route. They just happened. They arrived today and just happened. And then, I mean, and so please, it is very 
important that you take note of this, and I believe the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. I'd like to ask uh, Pastor Yemi David to come forward and just say a word of, um, please come. Goodwill. Praise the Lord. Um, I'm so glad to be here and to see um, this new beginning. I, I'm, I'm trusting God that as we are seeing this new beginning, we'll keep celebrating greater heights in the life of uh, Pastor Isaac in Jesus' name. And I want to say a special thank you, Daddy and Mommy, for always encouraging us. Sometimes I wonder if we didn't have such... Um, should I call it experience to glean from? Many of us would have swayed and missed it. So we're grateful for opening your heart to us and always blessing us. And we trust that God will keep us on track. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Pastor Lubia. Praise the Lord. What a joy for me to be part of this great occasion. I'm so excited and glad to see the largeness of our father, the largeness of the heart of our father and mother, to release Pastor Isaac today into the call that he has received from the law. This is incredible. I want to celebrate you, sir. I celebrate you, mommy, for this great, great, large heart that you have. You have taught us a lot of things, and this will go into the annals of history. And I pray that your desire will come to pass in their lives. You will see the fruit of your labor come to pass in their lives. And to Isaac, to Pastor Isaac and the wife, this is the beginning of a great journey. What you need right now is for us to learn from what our father has taught us, dedication, dedication. Except the corn of a wheat fought into the ground and die, it abide alone. This is the beginning of a great dedication to see the fruit of this call becoming a reality. I pray that the Lord will empower the grace needed for this great journey in Jesus' name. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Pastor Biomi. Hallelujah. As powerful as Jesus, until John announced him, his ministry wasn't accepted. He took John the Baptist to say, this is a lamb. He said, if John says so, then it's true. So all we have seen is to say, our father have announced, so nobody will doubt anymore. Thank you for your life in a second. Give the Lord the praise. Bishop, sir. Bishop Haremu. Praise the Lord. First of all, we want to rejoice with our Father because uh, another example is laid today. That you can have ministry and still have the largeness of heart to commission your son to ministry without any outer of misgiving is an example and make it open so that no one begin to pick anything from the dustbin <laughs> beginning from now because truth is truth and we have seen the truth of what he has taught us in the classroom be made open here and for my brother pastor Isaac I know you will succeed because you are coming from the root of success. And you must succeed. And we shall rejoice together as we see you succeeding. God bless you. Hallelujah. Give the Lord the praise. We will receive Bishop Abiyah and David Abiyah. It's goodwill message. Praise the name of Jesus. It's been a very wonderful time this evening. The atmosphere is charged with uh, a lot of excitement. 
and we know that God is going to advance this new course. While appreciating God for his servant and our father and our very precious mother for the goodwill extended today, we'd like to thank God that I believe a new generation is rising. Um, when a tree grows and you see the branches shooting out and the tree allows the branches to grow, the glory of the branch comes back to the tree. So we believe that this step taken today by God's servant is going to bring back the glory. Amen. And that very shortly. Amen. And to Isaac, very importantly, Walk for God begins with walk with God. The extent to which you walk with God will determine the impact of your work. Many are excited. Oh, I'm in ministry. Oh, I'm in ministry. They lose their walk with God. I pray that like Enoch, like Noah, and closer to us, like our father in the faith, has been working with God, your work with God will not only be genuine, but be productive and reflective in your work for God. Amen. Everyone in the assembly, God bless you all for witnessing today's occasion. Thank you. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord the praise as we welcome our mommy for a good will message. Let's appreciate the King of Kings. I want to stand up and give the Lord the praise. Let's go ahead and do so. Hallelujah. Please, you may be seated. Praise the Lord. I count it a very great privilege to be alive and well today. And um, I can be uh, overemphasizing how good God has been to me and to us as a family. For this very historic day, this is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. To everyone that is here today, I want to especially thank God for your life, because this celebration is returning back home with you. Amen. And to Pastor Isaac, Jesus Bade, Olubemi, that is your full name. I say welcome to the next phase of your life and ministry. Yes. The word of God has gone forth. The fruits and the testimonies will begin to come. And uh, as your name is, Isaac, among other things, means laughter. The sound of your name will continue to bring joy and laughter to the church of Jesus Christ. And to everyone that hears your name, Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. To each and every one of us, the Lord God of heaven is the one that you have come to honor. He will honor you in return. Amen. And this historic day will also mark a new dawn in your own life. Amen. Whatever good thing you have been believing God for, I believe that God will make it answer for you speedily. Amen. I want to leave... Pastor Isaac, with this scripture in Colossians 4, 7, 17. Take heed. Take heed. And take heed. The Lord bless us all in Jesus' name. Again, thank you for coming in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a praise as we receive a video message from our Father in the Lord, God's servant, Daddy Gio. Pastor Yadeboy. And we want to encourage you. Well, let somebody to shout remember. hallelujah. Hallelujah. No matter how big an elephant uh, we become, our beloved we still belongs to the family of Son Heaven. Isaac. We want to let you know that we rejoice with you. We want to thank the Almighty God for your life. And we want to thank you that you are proving uh, the proverb of the elders. 
You see, the elders have a saying, they said that uh, an elephant never gives birth to a dwarf. That the son of an elephant will always be an elephant. We thank God that you are able to hear from God directly yourself. We thank God that you are able to learn from your daddy and uh, we too, that when, once you are far from God, you, you run with it. We thank God for your life. We thank God for what God is about to do. And we want to encourage you that you remember, no matter how big an elephant may become, he still belongs to the family of elephants. So God will go with you in the ministry. He will prosper you. He will support you. But never ever dream of being separate from the family of elephants. He shall be well with you. We will always hear good news concerning you. Amen. And the one who has blessed us, who has blessed your biological father and family as a whole, the same God will take care of you. Amen. He will take care of your family. Amen. And we will always hear good news concerning you. Amen. God bless you, sir. God bless God you, you mightily. In, In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Love you, Isaac. Praise God. We give the Lord the praise. Hallelujah. All right. I think we'll stand and give the Lord the praise and appreciate. Can we all stand up on our feet and appreciate God? For those watching from, or those who would watch this, let it be clear that what God has done, is there is no challenge whatsoever. First, Pastor Isaac and his wife, are full-fledged members of Winners Chapel worldwide. Full-fledged members remain connected. Number two, he remains under the spiritual coverage, both physical and spiritual coverage of his spiritual and physical father, Bishop David Oyedepo. And third, he has a trust that has to do with youth campuses and he's going for that for that trust. That is all that has happened. Let it be clear so that nobody gives any wrong narrative. God be praised. Can we give the Lord the praise and say appreciate him? To the Lord be the glory. Great things he has done. Unto the Lord be the glory. Great things he has done. Unto the Lord be the glory. Great things he has done unto the Lord. Be the glory. Great things he has done. Sing great things he has done. Great things he will do unto the Lord. Be the glory. Great things he Heavenly Father, what a day in your presence. What a great happening this evening. On this beautiful 28th day of November 2023, a day that has gone into history, a day to be remembered for good. A day of setting a pace. Father, we are grateful to you. A day you have set aside for the Father, spiritual, biological, to bless the Son into a new assignment. Receive our thanks. In the name of Jesus. We know that beyond what we have seen physically, so many things have taken place spiritually, not only in this commission, but to the body of Christ globally. We thank you. We thank you. In the name of Jesus. You alpha this meeting, and you have committed yourself to Omega it. And so, Lord, as we are concluding and closing at this moment, 
we ask that your perfection will go with us. Amen. Let the journey of your son, which begins today, be a journey of sweatlessness. Amen. And let your name only be glorified. Amen. And for all who have come to witness this occasion tonight, we are all returning with the joy of the blessing of the day. Amen. Thank you again, mighty Father. And all of us together, we are saying to you, thank you and thank you and thank you. And all the saints of God in the house, join me to say loud, Amen. Amen.